Welcome to the Professional Development Course, Dyslexia in the Classroom, brought to you by Kayamishi Tech's Workforce and Economic Development. In this video, we will cover What is dyslexia? Signs and Symptoms Diagnosis Classroom Strategies Reading is complex. It requires our brains to connect letters to sounds, put those sounds in the right order, and pull the words together into sentences and paragraphs we can read and comprehend. People with dyslexia have trouble matching the letters they see on the page with the sounds those letters and combinations of letters make. And when they have trouble with that step, all the other steps are harder. Dyslexic children and adults struggle to read fluently, spell words correctly, and learn a second language, among other challenges. But these difficulties have no connection to their overall intelligence. In fact, dyslexia is an unexpected difficulty in reading in an individual who has the intelligence to be a much better reader. While people with dyslexia are slow readers, they often, paradoxically, are very fast and creative thinkers with strong reasoning abilities. Dyslexia is also very common, affecting 20% of the population and representing 80-90% of all those with learning disabilities. Scientific research shows differences in brain connectivity between dyslexic and typical reading children, providing a neurological basis for why reading fluently is a struggle for those with dyslexia. Dyslexia can't be cured, it is lifelong. But with the right supports, dyslexic individuals can become highly successful students and adults. In 1896, W. Pringle Morgan, a British physician, from Seaford, East Sussex published a description of a reading-specific learning disorder in a report to the British medical journal titled, Congenital Word Blindness. This described the case of a 14-year-old boy who had not yet learned to read yet showed normal intelligence and was generally adept at other activities typical of children of that age. The boy could read and write all letters in the alphabet, however, had difficult in reading common monosyllabic words. The boy's spelling was extremely poor. He substituted word suffixes, winder for winding, and transposed his letters within the words, preki for percy. This led Morgan to conclude the etiology of reading disability to be congenital and attributed it to defective development of the left angular gyrus of the brain. Signs and Symptoms in Preschool Children Late Talking Learning New Words Slowly Problems Forming Words Correctly, such as reversing sounds in words or confusing words that sound alike. Problems Remembering or Naming Letters, Numbers, and Colors Difficulty learning nursery rhymes or playing rhyming games. Signs and symptoms in elementary school. Once your child is in school, dyslexia signs and symptoms may become more apparent, including reading well below the expected level for age, problems processing and understanding what he or she hears, difficulty finding the right word or forming answers to questions, problems remembering the sequence of things, Difficulty seeing, and occasionally hearing, similarities and differences in letters and words. Inability to sound out the pronunciation of an unfamiliar word. Difficulty spelling. Spending an unusually long time completing tasks that involve reading or writing. Avoiding activities that involve reading. Signs and symptoms in junior and high school. Dyslexia signs in teens and adults are similar to those in children. Some common dyslexia signs and symptoms in teens and adults include Difficulty reading, including reading aloud Slow and labor-intensive reading and writing Problem spelling Avoiding activities that involve reading Mispronouncing names or words, or problems retrieving words Trouble understanding jokes or expressions that have a meaning not easily understood from the specific words idioms, such as, piece of cake meaning easy. Spending an unusually long time completing tasks that involve reading or writing. Difficulty summarizing a story. Trouble learning a foreign language. Difficulty memorizing. Difficulty doing math problems. Diagnosis. There's no single test that can diagnose dyslexia. A number of factors are considered, such as 
the child's development, educational issues, and medical history. Home life. Vision, hearing, and brain, neurological, tests. Psychological testing. Testing reading and other academic skills. If you think a student has dyslexia, follow your institution's protocols for reporting. Classroom strategies for when using materials. Clarify or simplify written directions. Present a small amount of work. Block out extraneous stimuli. Highlight essential information. Use a placeholder in consumable material. Provide additional practice activities. Provide a glossary in content areas. Develop reading guides. Use an audio recording device. Use of assistive technology. Classroom strategies involving interactive instruction. Use explicit teaching procedures. Repeat directions. Maintain daily routines. Provide a copy of lesson notes. Provide students with a graphic organizer. Use step-by-step -step instruction. Simultaneously combine verbal and visual information. Write key points or words on the chalkboard slash whiteboard. Use balanced presentations and activities. Use mnemonic instruction. Emphasize daily review.